You gotta stop unplugging the computer. Come on, come on. Ah, that's the way he wants to say hi. All right, so we are dual broadcasting. You wanna say hi? Look, say hi. That devil one over here too. Oh, you're so heavy. We're dual broadcasting on YouTube and Facebook. It's your boy Coach White, Mark White, aka Mr. Modifier. I got tubs on me here, and I got Jack over here. What's up, Jack? And I just wanted to come on. This is part one of three, right? So tonight, or today, yeah, from seven to nine, me and the wife decided to get certified. Here's my little card. Bada bing, bada boom. Certified and trained in opiate overdose prevention. This is a serious epidemic. Serious. I listed the common opiates, right? And there's a ton of them. <laughs> Literally a ton of them. Uh, a lot of them I didn't even know about. But what's the most scariest one is I've heard of fentanyl, but there's one called uh, car fentanyl, and it's the shit they use to tranquilize elephants. It's fucking scary as fuck. But um, I'm going to keep this short because tomorrow I'm going to get into to detail. So I just wanted to come on and uh, show you guys my little certification card, right? Doing my part. If we all do our part, we can uh, make a huge difference. And here it is. Okay. I actually have a presentation, slides or presentation. And it's actually the one that they gave us for the training. So I'm going to actually share it on YouTube. I don't know if I can share it on Facebook, but I know I can on YouTube. So come check me over at my YouTube channel. And you guys will see this presentation tomorrow. And I mean, it, it, it is scary. Hopefully I'll never ever have to use this, right? Boom, 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 right here. You guys can see that. And then we'll show it to YouTube. Hopefully I'll never have to use it. But God forbid if I ever have to use it, I'm certified and I will be able to save somebody's life. Not gonna, not gonna, I'll never have to use it though. Got my little pamphlet, right? Bing it, bing it, bing it, bing it. Dang it, dang it. And I got my little card here. Super wing. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, I got a class I got to get into, but I wanted to come up on here and just list out some of the common opiates. I mean, you guys can read them. I'm not going to sit here and read them all to you. Tomorrow I will go deep into the epidemic. I'll talk more about Narcan, which is also known as naloxin. They've been using this for a long, long time. And uh, how you can go about getting certified to get one of these and be certified and trained. And how you can do your part. God forbid, we, we all know somebody or have a family member in our family that's um, dealt with this. You know, the, the, for my back, they were giving me, what was it, oxycodone, right? That's on the list, right? Um, like oxycodone, Percocet, we all know that one. And then I used to take... Um, what was it? Break it in, which is also on that list. Hydrocodone. So I mean, it's scary. It really, it really is scary. It is scary. When I was, they were talking about the car fence and all shit, like man, it, it is fucking scary, y'all. It's so scary. Like in, in the presentation, um, I gotta figure out how I can share it on YouTube. But they one stat that really got me and pull it up real quick was the increase from 2010 to 2015 in heroin. And mind you, this only goes to 2015. We're in 2018, so when they update this, I will update you guys too. But it is scary how this shit just spikes up. And same with uh, fentanyl. And what's really scary about fentanyl is they use it in all types of shit, and they cut it with uh, coke and heroin. So I mean, you gotta be careful with that. Um, another thing real quick, there was a house, right? So don't think this is like, all right, before I get into the house, let's talk about this. Like, there is no face to this. This is like, you know, the whole HIV. You know. There's no face to, to what these people look like. It's not the homeless person or, you know, the typical you see on TV, the, the junkie. It's not. It's every community, every race, rich, poor. doesn't matter. doesn't matter. And it, it really is scary as fuck, y'all. But if you if you do your part, let's just say you go out and you take this. The course is free. You know, you take this course, you get certified, learn how to use this, and God forbid you ever need to, you can save somebody's life. If more people just educate themselves, we can all do our part. You know, we can all do our part and make the world a little bit better. 
But yeah, tomorrow I will go into part two and part three, and we'll talk about this epidemic. We'll talk about Narcan, and we'll talk about more of what I learned. And like, it's just it really it's fucking scary. I can't say enough how fucking scary it really is. But yeah. So, um, like I said, tomorrow we'll talk about that, and we'll do two parts when I go live tomorrow and I do my fish oil. I'll talk about it a little bit more, and then sometime tomorrow afternoon I will go live on YouTube where I can actually share the presentation. Um, Big shout out. This is this is you hardly get one of these from me, but big shout out to Chief David Burpee. Right? Big shout out to this man and then the uh, presenter, I forget his name, but big shout out to both of them for what they're doing. They're doing their part. All we gotta do is our part. And if everybody does their part, the world would be a better place, y'all. You know, really would. But yeah, I will uh actually show you what this looks like. It's not open right now. It's been assigned to me and registered. It's it's relaxing. You can go to your your local drugstore and get this. But it's better to take a course, know what you're doing, how you can help somebody. It's uh from the old packs that they had, the old kits to this one, this is like common sense how to use it compared to you know how to put things together because you know if you find somebody unresponsive on the ground overdosing you kind of go in panic mode you know your brain can kind of just shut off and you get clumsy trying to put things together and you know it's just this is just a nasal shot straight in the nose and you can save somebody's life that's the most important part you know you don't ever ever like i said knock on noggin i never have to use this but if i ever do i'm certified and i'm trained look at that right there you see that got my own name in there Got my own number on the back. We good. We good. New York State Department of Health Opiate Overdose in, uh, Intervention, right? Yeah. So, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. We'll do our part. But like I said, tomorrow I'll go into deep, deep, deep detail. I'll go over this slideshow. Oh, but about the house. I was talking about this house. Okay, so listen. <laughs> this is crazy. In Cortland. Cortland. If you guys are familiar with the New York area, I'm sure you're familiar with Cortland, the Cortland Manor. There was a house, and in this house, there was a car parked out. It's a van. And inside the van, they seized $2.3 million of heroin, over 65 pounds of heroin found in the truck and the axles. And, and you guys see the pictures. Like the piping, they shoved it in the piping. And this house is like, you know, a rich area, you would never expect this type of shit to happen in these areas. But like I said, there's no face to to who and what are using this. Now, a lot of people, they start off with taking, you know, pharmaceutical drugs, and one thing leads to another, and maybe their insurance stops, or, you know, they can't afford it, they can't pay the court, the copay, and the next thing you know, people just go to the streets. And when you're on the streets, you never know what you're getting, especially when it's heroin, it's covered everything. Local media, you can't turn on the news without hearing something about, you know, Heroin, opiates, all types of shit. I'm looking right now. New York, the New Yorker, uh, the Exchange, New York Times, Channel 12 News, locals, local news gets teen heroin use grows. It's just, it's crazy. It is crazy. I just lost my page too. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah. So yeah, uh, an addict picks up uh, pieces of his life. Now listen, this is not a cure. This is just prevention. Like God forbid, I swear, God forbid. Like I'll be carrying this with me, a lot of places, frequently, and a lot. What's up, Jennifer? Uh oh, what I just do? What I do? Uh oh, I don't know what I just did. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's up, Victoria? I don't know what I just did, but. Oh, well, yeah, so I, I don't know. There's got to be a way I can share it on YouTube. I mean, sorry, Facebook, the presentation. It, it was good. It was well worth the three hours. A little, I got out a little bit earlier. Um, great charts, you know, the overdose death involving opiates by the, the, by the type of opiates in the United States. So you have, you know, heroin spiked from 2010 to 2015, and it just keeps rising and rising and rising. And then you got natural and uh, semi-synthetic opiates, you got other synthetic opiates, and then you got methadone. Um, what is the other one? Methadone and Suboxone. It's just, just all this type of shit I didn't know when I was educated today. Drug overdose deaths from 1999 to 2016 and 1999 
opiate deaths were about 16,849. In 2016, that number spiked to 65,000 plus, right? And mind you, they, they can't keep up with these numbers. These numbers are a little off because they just keep rising and rising and rising. Drugs involved in U.S. overdose um, deaths from 2000 to 2016. Sorry if you hear my dog drinking. So the big spike was fentanyl. And what people understand is like fentanyl, is, it's, it's strong. But the car fentanyl is even stronger. It's probably the strongest type of opiate. I want to make this perfectly clear because I was told that this, by certain people, that this has no effect on fentanyl, which is a lie. This, you might need a double dose. When you do administer this, you need to call 911 because what this does, it, you have your brain receptors, right? And think of, let me see if I can get something for an example. All right, so this is your brain receptor, right? Boom, this is your brain receptor. Can you see this? YouTube, can you see this? Okay, perfect, you both can see this. Now let's say, let's say I need something. This, let's say this is the opiate. The opiate comes and it sits on the brain receptor. So then when you use Narcan, we're gonna use this as Narcan. Narcan stops the brain receptor and the opiate just psh, bounces off. Now this doesn't last, and we think said 90, 90 minutes, an hour and a half to about three hours, and then it wears off, and the opiate that's still in your system can go right back to your brain receptor. But we'll talk about that more into detail tomorrow night. We'll get into that. Um, and if, like I said, on YouTube, I will do this presentation because y'all need to see this. Y'all need to be educated. The common opiates, codeine, fentanyl, hydrocodone, hydrocodone, uh, amphetamine, hydromorphine, um, meddernay, and I don't know how pronounce it. These, some of these shits I never heard of. Methadone's up there, morphine's up there, oxycodone, oxycontin, you know, the roxies, you hear those on the street. Yo, what's really scary, y'all, and this this shocked me, and it's and like, anybody that has kids, y'all need to worry about this. If you got prescriptions in your house, put them in a lockbox and take the key with you, these kids nowadays, they have these things called Skittle parties. This shit blew my one. I, I guess, I guess when I was a kid, you know, it was like weed and beer, right? <laughs> now they go, they take all these medications out of their parents' medicine cabinets and they get a big bowl and they put all of them in. They call it Skittle parties because they're all different colored pills. And you just go in, in the party, grab a handful, and you put them out. You don't know what you're taking. It's just scary. Fuck, I keep saying that because it's so scary. The skill parties. We're going to talk about fentanyl tomorrow. It's the most powerful opiate used by human in medicine. We'll get into the, to these bullet points tomorrow, definitely. And then we're going to talk about that car fentanyl because this shit is fucking crazy. They use this. Veterinarians use this. Uh, large animals such as elephants. Uh, we're going to talk about the guidelines and prescribe opiates. The best thing is to educate yourself when you go talk to your doctors. Um, then we're going to talk about the opiate overdose prevention efforts. Um, we'll talk about the I stop and what was the other one? Um, I stop and the end cap program. We'll talk about that. And then we'll go into the New York state. There's a, um, what is it called? Man, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I can't remember what I'm talking about. I can't. It's just so much knowledge. And like, I'm glad you gave me this PowerPoint presentation because I'm sitting here with my phone, click, click, taking pictures. And you're like, listen, you can just go to the website after, after we're done and it'll be uploaded there. You can get all the information you need and then start educating other people and tell them, listen, this is free. This class is free. You get it at your public libraries. They offer it to public libraries, community centers. I mean, you need to do this. Um, risk factors for opiate overdoses. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Just touch a few um, depressions up there. Drug strength, impurity, mixing drugs, uh, history of previous overdose, signs and symptoms of an opiate overdose. We'll definitely talk about that tomorrow. Uh, what is naloxin? Narcan. Narcan is just the, the company name, but naloxin is actually the, the drug, I guess you can call it. Uh, how naloxin works. We'll talk about that tomorrow. So much, so much. 43 pages of this last little presentation. What happens during an opiate overdose? We'll talk about that. Um, steps to responding to an overdose. You need to know this. You definitely need to know this. Steps to responding to an overdose continue. You definitely need to know this. Calling 911. Resuscitation. Uh, and then formulations. I wish you guys could see this picture right now. Where it used to be 
to where it was, to where it is now. Like I said, it is common sense, and you, you can go to your local pharmacy and pick this stuff up. How to use a Narcan device, which he demonstrated, and just like like the old school one was a, a needle, and the second one was this like capsule thing you open and you inject and, and nasal. But now it's just really simple. I mean, it just educate yourself, y'all. And then uh, recap of Narcan. We'll do all of this tomorrow. We'll get deep, deep into, uh, and then uh, New York. Oh, the Good Samaritan Law. We're going to talk about this tomorrow, too. But, yeah, that's enough. I'm on here too long. It's been 15 minutes. But, yeah, do your part, people. Do your part. Make the world a better place. And like I said, God, I never have to use it, but let's just say, you know, I'm out and about. Somebody's having an overdose. I could possibly save their life with, with this. Right? It's upside down. It is upside down. Boom. So, anyway, it is what it is. Watch for tomorrow. We'll have part two in the morning when I do my official L. And then part three. I don't know if I can get part three on Facebook Live. I'll just go live. I don't know if I get the presentation. But YouTube, I definitely can share screen by doing a YouTube Live. And I will share my screen and we will go through this presentation. Now, mind you, I'm not the teacher that can certify you to do this. And like I said, suggest you should just go out and get certified and trained for yourself. Because this is an epidemic. And... What was nothing that shocked me? It's ages the most likely to overdose is ages twenty to twenty nine, and then fifty to fifty nine. But don't get it wrong, kids in schools. They were talking about the public library. They busted a guy down the White Plains of the library not too long ago for selling out a library. It's, just, it's crazy. It is. It is crazy. But that's part of the world we live in today, right? But if we all do our part, we can make the world a better place. So with that being said, it's your boy, Coach White, Mark White, a.k.a. Mr. Modifier. YouTube, stay on. The, the few viewers that are watching right now, stay on. I want to talk to you guys for a minute. Facebook, I'm going to sign off. You guys have a great night. This is some real talk with your boy, Coach White. Certified, right? Certified, Coach White. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Anyway, I'm out. Facebook, Ace. YouTube, I wanted to keep you on a few minutes longer because I want you to know tomorrow, I don't have an exact time. I should, though. Let's say, uh, I got to look at my calendar. I'm going to do this presentation. I'm going to have the slides up. Tomorrow is the 24th. And I got to pick up somebody from the airport tomorrow. So let's say the 24th. Let's try to do around 9, right? Now we'll go a little bit earlier. Let's try to do around. Oh, sure, I got to the airport at four. Let's try to do lunchtime. So let me get something lunch break, Eastern time, 12 p.m. 12, yeah, noon. Ah, noon. New York time, Eastern time. I want to do this presentation so you guys can actually see the presentation. And then, like I said, go do this for yourself. Do it for you because you never know. You might be able to save somebody's life, and that's priceless. You know what I mean? That's prices and education is key. You gotta educate yourself. So with that being said, YouTube, thank you. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for letting me take up a little bit of your time. I know you're, you're busy, you're extremely busy. I appreciate every single one of you that follow me, that comment, that keep up with me, message me, email me. I appreciate every single one of you from the tips of my toes to the top of my head. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you guys have a great night. I'm out, peace.